Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. Uh, in our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll draw our that S tier, and in this lecture, we'll complete our another main important part like replicating of that S tier and uh, completing. I mean, I will complete or another part where we'll draw some beam for support just see here they have no support actually they have no support in that slab they have many support but here they have no support so for that we'll draw support for here okay so uh, here it's okay now we'll take a reference point here so you draw then draw joint object then in Z it's 60 we'll take 60 point 60 and here We'll take a point so here a point is okay now we'll draw a beam here right we'll draw a beam here and uh, from here draw a quick beam and this is beam main okay it should be the main beam so and uh, draw using grid not not using grid using points as we have point here so I'll take that point and here that uh, sorry 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 extremely sorry uh, escape we have to use that option so from here the frame and then be main and not a straight line it's a straight line sorry not ours it's a straight line so after that that point and simply click that point so here our beam is okay right our beam is okay here and we need another beam from that point to that point okay from that point to that point where we'll draw our deck right so uh, actually everything is depend on your uh, statistics and uh, your technique so here I'll click draw then draw the object point and uh, here this is you know maybe this is yes this is in x direction this is x direction so where we will take in x direction uh, it should be minus x so minus 7.5 feet right uh, minus 7.5 ft feet okay it's not taking automatically so we have to calculate 7.5 feet means 19 9 0 19 right it's minus x 19 it's in minus x okay it's okay now this with respect to that point so here now from that point to that point we'll draw a beam so for that we'll use that option then beam main beam a straight line it's okay so from here to here so it's okay so we have draw that successfully okay and uh, that slab it will be supported by that a step and that step and also by that beam right and that will be supported by that mm, the bottom support and here it's a more support that side that side and that side okay so when it's done and also you can ignore that beam but uh, I'm giving that beam for our good work purpose so that we can draw slab here perfectly right so when it's done when it's done now we replicate that what we have to replicate we have to replicate that on that on that on that on that on sorry not that on not bottom that on and also that on we replicate that um, portion for our upper part so simply we'll go here edit then replicate then simply click a story and who is a story actually for two and three so for two and three okay now take your mouse here now you can see that till 
which street will work so simply click apply then okay now see here it's okay actually right it's okay here your all street slab or everything that is okay so if I move that for all, all street it's okay and uh, what is that actually and they have another things so we'll see that in later what is that actually okay so just see here or all data is okay now we have replicated perfectly everything so when it's done now oh uh, yeah it's done now we'll go for our next part so we'll go simply plan view history 3 apply then ok right now we'll simply right click set grid visibility and show all objects so here everything is ok so here we'll uh, also give some composite beam for that part ok that's why we have given here that beam right so for that and before that I'll just take a another windows for 3d actually this is the extra part I'll delete that maybe that have come for our replicate so delete um, I think it's okay uh, now I'll just come here and I'll give one story to all history and here I'll just click that on and this the for beam comp and uh, the spacing is 60 then I'll take here so just see here it's okay and it's okay for all stories so I'll go down down and down you just see here this is okay for all history alright this is for a, almost base now we'll draw our I'll go top this is our history 3 the top okay so here when it's done now we'll draw our deck slab okay where it's where our deck slab is record we'll draw so for that also we'll select all story right and uh, for deck slab simply we'll click here for in that option draw floor and from here we'll that is deck is here now we'll select deck slab okay and this is a straight line okay spacing no then simply first of all click here then click here after that click here after that click here now click here here now click here and finally click here take your mouse here and enter now see here our stair is I mean um, drawing our okay but uh, we have done a mistake actually we have draw our deck slab and its local axis in that direction I mean it will transfer load in that direction but we will transfer load in that direction actually in that direction for that I'll just escape control Z okay I'll just escape from here okay here control Z so again I'll go draw slab and the local axis I'll give 90 degree okay so uh, we'll transfer load in shorter direction not in longer direction it's 19 now simply I'll again take that point similarly that point and that point then that point then that point that point now that point okay finally that point and take your mouse here just see here now it will transfer load in that direction I mean this slab load it will transfer in to that beam and to that composite beam right so it's done so finally we have draw and uh, we have to go bottom just see here they have the extra some data select so here bottom we'll select that one and we'll delete oh sorry control Z and this is all a story it should be one story then select then delete okay it's done now we can go 
in our view show rendered view I think when you'll go in rendered view then your concept will clear actually your concept will be your concept will fulfill clear it will clear your concept fulfill just see here this is your one deck one slab here is our another and here is our uh, another slab right and here is our another and here just see here so I think everything is okay and from if you see from bottom and if you go here just see here our uh, the most part of our slab I mean uh, our beam composite beam are under that slab right so everything is okay here actually so I'll just close that now we have draw our wall slab and actually uh, <laughs> almost our structure is okay right our structure is okay so when our structure is okay now we have to and one other another thing I just want to show just go top here or anyhow so here that is our main beam right click so this is our steel frame design okay and if we go now here right click now it's showing us the steel frame design okay so I'll just close that then I'll close cancel now top so it's also okay then close right click design okay and uh, if you right click here design non load they have no load okay so I'll escape this is our main right click okay it's okay so okay so uh, maybe we have done a mistake actually right when we have defined our that beam in our previous lecture then we have used here I have just shown you how, how to use continuous or paint but uh, at the time of discuss I forget to select paint so we have to use paint at the time of using that uh, uh, by using the secondary beam drawing okay so I hope you will be careful about that and I'll just escape that option and just see here when we have draw I have shown you in my in our previous lecture that when we have selected our that main beam then it's showing us steel frame design and also when we have selected our that uh, that beam and secondary beam or composite beam that also uh, it has shown us the steel frame design but now if we go for that now see here it's showing us composite beam design right it's now showing us composite beam design so it will work like as composite beam so composite beam design all of our secondary beam now showing us the composite beam design right so skip so uh, there is for today's video and in our next video we will go for our applying load and after that we will finally design our model and uh, that is our all lectures and I think it will be helpful for you and if you think that if it is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video